Here's our composting toilet, and here's how we got to this point. A conventional townhouse uses town water and town sewage, and we don't have either of those things. More rural properties have mains water, and they run the sewage into a septic tank, but that needs quite a bit of infrastructure, and that's not practical for us. The obvious solution is a composting toilet. The beauty of a composting toilet is you don't need to have a constant running water supply. First time I heard about a composting toilet I thought that sounded horrible but after we went and stayed with somebody who actually had one all the myths got burst and we changed our opinions. A composting toilet is a loo that doesn't use water to flush it. All of the waste is collected and it composts down into soil that you use in the garden. People's automatic reaction is to think that it smells, but in reality, if the system's designed properly, it won't. Fundamentally, we had two choices. The first choice is a pedestal which has a drop into a large catching area. The second option allows you to go to a smaller system, but you have a smaller catching area. These allow you then to have free standing without needing any pipework or plumbing of any significance. Because there's only two of us using the shipping container as a house, we can afford to go with the smaller option, which gives it freestanding use. These come in two forms, electric and non-electric. We got a Sunmar Compact at a very good price. This has the electrics, but we don't necessarily have to use them. This type of composting toilet can be put in a chalet in the Alps or in areas where they ski so they actually have a heater mat. The model we chose was an electric compact. It has an electric fan which keeps a positive pressure and blows all of the smell out the container through a vent pipe. In the base of the composting chamber there's an electric mat which will keep everything warm. However, being in Australia we don't need to use that. OK, so here's how it works. You go to the toilet, you put your loo paper in, you then take a handful of sawdust and throw it over the top. When you turn the handle it spins the drum which moves what you've just put in the toilet move to the back into the composting part of the chamber. This will quietly compost and reduce down to a much smaller volume. After a few months of composting, you turn the handle in the opposite direction and it takes the small processed soil and it puts it into the finishing tray where it sits for another month or two and then it gets taken outside and buried and put in the garden. Here's how the instructions say to set up the composting toilet. We start with some organic peat moss. You add a packet of toilet starter, and simply mix this with the peat moss. The toilet drum gets sprayed with a flush enzyme, which makes bacteria work quickly. You add the mix into the drum. Add a few litres of warm water. And add this to the peat mix. There's an exhaust vent pipe that comes from the toilet. And there's a 12 volt fan built inside this tube. This allows the fan to operate on just battery power. We plug in the 240 volts for the heater mat and the air vent. This is the cable for the 12 volt fan that I haven't finished wiring up yet. After the toilet's been used, you simply add a scoop of organic peat mix and sawdust or wood chips. It only took a week of regular use 
and then using a composting toilet just feels normal. Whilst our bathroom isn't very pretty at the moment, one day we're going to have walls and it's going to look like everybody else's, only different. If you're enjoying these videos, you can see the entire project from start to where we are now at www.containerhouse.wordpress.com.